Tonight, the outrage and frustration over high electric bills continues. Yeah, we've all been using our air conditioning lately, which can be pretty scary. Dozens of you have emailed the I team asking for help. Chief investigative reporter Sam Smink is live outside Eversource headquarters in Berlin tonight after talking with lawmakers. Sam? It's just like Mark said. We've seen dozens of your bills showing increase after increase. There's even a petition now with more than 8,000 people who are asking state lawmakers to do something. Tonight, we went to lawmakers for answers. My husband opened the bill up and we were like, what? It's ridiculous. Ridiculous is what Sue Corvo Powers is calling her July electric bill, an increase of $150 from last month. Powers and her husband are both retired on a fixed income. One more thing that's killing us. A couple things happened all at once. Because of the hot summer, people are using more energy. At the same time, the state owed utility companies around $800 million from past policies, and it was time to collect. This caused an increase in the public benefits portion of your bill. Eversource says $400 million of that increase is paying off nuclear power and other program costs, and $140 million will cover unpaid bills as a result of the state's shutoff moratorium. Both the supply portion and public benefit portion are related to usage. The more you use, the more you owe. It's important to point out here that supply and public benefits make up nearly 60% of your bill, and both of those items we do not control or profit off of. People are really, really hurting. State Representative Jonathan Steinberg co-chairs the state's Energy and Technology Committee. He says 77% of the public benefit increase comes from the Millstone Nuclear Contract, a bipartisan agreement signed in 20. It seemed like a good idea at the time. The problem is, soon thereafter, the price of natural gas went down again, and we actually were paying more for nuclear energy, and then we owed the utilities the difference in, in that. Can we use COVID relief funds or the surplus to pay off that money? No, we can't because it, we, there's a, an appropriate separation between electric rates and the general budget. Representative Steinberg says it would set bad precedent. State Senator Jeffrey Gordon disagrees. We could actually use that to help either pay for this or defray the cost. And some people have even advocated, do we even need to use any surplus funds that we have? But most of the ARPA money has already been assigned. Gordon says the legislature should call a special session immediately to discuss options. That doesn't mean we can't reconfigure it. We need to prioritize what's the issue here. This increase will last over the next nine months. We were able to find out that Pierce chairman actually wanted to spread the increase over 22 months, but was outvoted. Coming up at 6, we'll hear from the governor. For now, reporting live in Berlin for the I-Team, I'm Sam Spink, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.